dear friends today we will discuss audit materiality it is an important concept because it is discussed in revised schedule 6 accounting standard as well as sa 320 we will discuss materiality as per sa 320 first as per the standard materiality means misstatements including omissions now when I say misstatement I mean to say it can be an error or it can be an fraud there has to be an error or fraud or omission it will be material if they individually or in aggregate when I say aggregate there are there is a collection of misstatement they influence the economic decision of users of financial statements now these three terms are very important when I say users I mean to say it can be a shareholder of the company or it can be a person who is banker to the company or it can be an financial institution also now these users take some economic decision what are they economic decision means monetary decisions now shareholders based on information take a decision regarding investment in the company they decide whether to invest in a company or not when I speak of a banker or a financial institution based on information they determine the credibility of the company and they determine whether to give a loan or not now coming back to the whole definition there is some error or there is some fraud or there is some omission which individually or in aggregate influences the economic decision of users of financial statements now if these three conditions are satisfied I mean to say there are some users who are using the financial statements based on their usage they are taking some economic decision and their decision is influenced by some error fraud or an omission then such an information will be termed as material information